Good morning, my wonderful KO1 kids. Happy Monday. Woohoo! We made it to a new week. We are on Marvelous Monday. Today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. And I am so excited that we have made it to Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you were able to do some fun things with your family. And yeah. So today is Monday. Remember what Monday looks like. And we're still in the month of April. And we are still in the year 2020. And as always, we have our mystery pattern piece. Remember, it's covered up. And check out our calendar back there. Oh my goodness. Still in, in April, and we have one missing after the 12th. So, yesterday, Sunday, was a picture of a dog walking outside, and he was really hot because the temperature said it was 94 degrees. Hmm. So, let's take a look at the pattern again. So, it starts with a ruler, then balance beam, measuring, spoons thermometer ruler measuring weight measuring ingredients or a measuring cup temperature ruler measuring weight measuring ingredients temperature huh so after temperature what do you think will happen let's see i don't know what comes next after temperature might come i think it's going to be a ruler what do you think you think it's going to be a ruler too? Wait, do you want to be my revealer? You want to reveal it for me? Okay, peel off the peel off the uh, the post-its. You see the post-its? Here, peel them off. Ellie's going to reveal for us today what the calendar piece is. Oh boy, here we go. <gasps> and we were right. It is a ruler. High five, girlfriend. You got it. Okay, go back and play, please. I know. Ellie was helping us out with this, and we found out that it was a ruler. <gasps> all right, let's say it all together now. Today is, I hope you're saying it out there. Today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. All right, so let me just get this ready to go up on our calendar so we have no missing spaces. Oh boy, we're on April 13th already. Okay, friends. So, <clears throat> I just want to tell you that this week again, um, Miss Ewan is going to have some fun scheduled activities for you to do with your families. Um, I am still taking attendance because this was supposed to be our spring break but it is vital that you do complete the assignments and send pictures to me or any evidence and proof that they're done so I can mark you present, so I can mark you um, that you are here for the day. Um, again, this was supposed to be our spring break, so this week is gonna be a little lighter with assignments and um, lessons. I'm only doing my one welcome message with you guys and then um, my little crew. And then um, you'll have some assignments to do that'll be posted. Some will be based on a link, some will be based on, um, you know, some prior knowledge, depends on what it is, okay? And we're gonna try and stick to the themes that the Department of Ed has, and we're gonna stick to our theme of what we're learning with trees and animals, and with math, we'll try and keep it as close as we can to what we're learning, and yeah, and I will give you some other assignments and things to do that are fun throughout the week. Please have fun with your parents and your mommies and daddies and siblings um, to do so. Okay, so this week, like I said, is gonna be a little bit lighter with assignments. Please continue to do them though. That doesn't mean that we're stopping teaching. We're not stopping learning, we're not stopping teaching. Just because it's not a new skills lesson or a new content lesson or a new math lesson, you still have the assignments to complete. So please keep up with them. And I hope you have fun with it, okay? So we are on Marvelous Monday and I have a new read aloud for you today and it is called, Dun, dun, dun. 
George saves the world by lunchtime. Wow. George must be awesome if he could save the world. George saves the world What are you going to do today, George? Asked Grandpa one sunny Saturday morning. Today, said George, I'm going to save the world. Good plan, said Grandpa. Fiora and I will help you out. Let's see if we can save, let's see if we can save the world by lunchtime. So there's George, Fiora, and Grandpa. Garage, George was seen to get on and save the world. He quickly ate his breakfast and tossed his leftovers in the bin. Slow down, George, said Grandpa. We might not be able to use some of that again. But it's rubbish, said, Gramp, said, said George, looking puzzled. Aha, laughed Grandpa. Don't be too sure. Tips for saving the world by lunchtime. You have to reduce. You have to reuse. Clean it up and use it again. You have to repair it and you have to recycle it. Now turn that light off, super boy, said grandpa. And then we'll hang out in the washing machine. I don't have time to hang out washing clothes, said George. I'm a world, I'm a world saving superhero, you know. Reduce. Use less electricity. Let the wind and the sun dry the washing clothes instead of the tumble dryer. Why? Well, most electricity is made with giant magnets and they're spun around by jets of steam. And the steam is made of burning coal. So instead of using all of that electricity, hang your clothes up outside to dry. Let's start out your let's sort out your room and start this process, said Grandpa. Let's not, grumbled George. I'm saving the world, remember? We'll take your old stuff to a charity shop then. That'll help save the world, said Grandpa. Ugh, said George. Reuse all of the things that you're not using. Even if you don't want your stuff anymore, someone else can play with it again can read it again, can use it again, or wear it again. So I know I talked a little bit about um, saving our world and treating our environments with respect and treating each other with respect. This is one way you can treat your environment with respect. Respect. You're gonna reuse things that you're not using. You can give them away. Grandpa looked at George's broken car. I can fix that if you like. Grandpa told him. You'll have to do it in the morning, Grandpa, said Fiora, if we're gonna be saving the world by lunchtime. Repair, make things last longer by sewing them, sticking them, and taking them to the menders. See how they're mending their clothes, they're taking care of them, and they are sewing them back together. George and Fiora went downstairs for a drink. We can sort the rubbish for recycling now, said Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, this isn't what I meant by saving the world, said George crossly. Maybe not, said Grandpa, but we're doing it for real. For real, said George? Yes, said Grandpa, smiling. You've been saving the world all morning. Now we have to recycle if we want to re save the world. Two thirds of all of your garbage could be recycled. When you throw things away, you're throwing away the materials, the time and the energy it took to make them. Recycling saves those materials and that time and that energy. Garbage in your bin doesn't just go away. It has to be transported to a hole in the ground called a landfill. Much of it will stay there forever. New landfill sites have to be dug all the time. Look closely here, guys. When your garbage man, when your sanitation man comes to pick up your garbage, 
they dump it in this big place called a landfill and it sits there and it sits there and it sits there and it smells, smells, smells. So make sure you are recycling anything that you can because then they can reuse it and you, it won't be sitting in a landfill like that. George followed Grandpa out into the garden. I was only playing a game before, he said, but I'd rather save the world for real. What can I do next? Well, you can put Fiora's poo on the compost heap with all the other vegetable waste, said Grandpa. Soon it will turn into food for the plants. Ew, yuck, said George. He was glad that he wasn't that plant. The compost didn't look at all tasty. Recycle. In nature, plants feed animals and animals feed plants. There's no waste and no problem. So as gross as that might sound, the dog goes to the bathroom. He goes number two. And he can use, they can use his um, waste or his um, poop for the dirt. And then he can, um, they can grow plants and flowers from that because it goes into the soil and it goes into the ground and it actually gives the soil nutrients for um, things to grow. We'll go into town now, said Grandpa, and do some recycling. But we haven't got the car today, said George. Reduce. So we'll just cycle to town means we will ride our bikes into town. We won't be wasting any gas, said George. Exactly, said Grandpa. We're going to save the gas. Reduce. Use less gas. Walk, take a bicycle, share with someone else, take the bus, the train, or the tram. Pollution is when you are burning gas. One day we might use cars that are powered by the sun or the wind. So another way to save or help our environment is Try not to take the car too much. Try to walk or try to take a bicycle because you're not using the um, petroleum or the gas to pollute the air. Pollute means to make the air dirty. The charity shop in town was such, a, was such fun that George almost forgot he was saving the world. Say goodbye to your old clothes and books, said Grandpa, but say hello to a new fancy dress, said Flora. Meanwhile, George had spotted something very useful. When you take your old stuff to a charity shop, your clothes and toys can be reused and the money goes to help the people who need it. Next stop, the recycling center. Crash, tingle, crunch. George was having a smashing time at the bottle bank. Now, none of this will be wasted, will it? asked Flora. No, said Grandpa. It's all going to be turned into useful things again. Recycle. This is what happens to the things when you recycle them. When you recycle some um, glass, it's crushed and melted down to make more bottles of glass. When you recycle cans, they can be melted down and used again too. So these aluminum cans, I don't know if your mommy or daddy drinks soda, they melt them down and they can make new cans exactly the same way. They don't have to use new materials. If you recycle paper, paper is pulped and made into more paper. It is also turned into bedding for your pets or materials to keep houses warm and save energy. And some plastic bottles, they're recycled by um, being melted down and they, are, they can be made bags, cups, and plates from plastic. On the way home, Grandpa George and Flora called in on the farmer's market. Can we take a break from saving the world now, asked George. I fancy one of those strawberry tarts. Don't worry, answered Grandpa, buying four of them. Eating these strawberry tarts helps save the world too. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime. We'd better bicycle home. Reduce. Look, they're at the farmer's market. Farmer's market is where you can get like fresh fruits and vegetables. They have it like right on a table outside, it's pretty cool. Reduce the distance that things have to travel. So the things that you buy at a farmer's market have been grown locally, meaning they're grown in a farm close by. And there's a thick 
they're put in a basket and then they're taken to this farmer's market to sell them. So try and buy things that are local to you. And then it was lunchtime. I hear you've been saving the world while I was out, said mom. Yes, said George, grandpa helped us. He is a world saving super grandpa. All in the morning's work, said grandpa. I think I'll take a rest this afternoon. Wow. So my friend George saved the world by doing lots of things. He saved the world by recycling. He saved the world by reducing, um, reducing the amount of things that he used. So instead of taking the car to the town, he took a bicycle. So he was reducing the gas that was being used. He reused. He took all his old toys and his old clothes and he brought it to the charity place to sell it to somebody else. So he's reusing something. So he thought of all these cool things to do to help save the world. And I know you guys have been talking and thinking a lot about how you can be better at saving or helping your environment and respecting your environment and treating things nicely. But for crew for today, you're gonna do something fun. Since George, he looks like a superhero, right? He's got a cape on and everything. So since today is science, it's a science theme for the Department of Ed, and it's also, I wanted to keep it close to what we just read, you guys can either make a mask, like a superhero mask, or a superhero cape to show that you can do things like save the world or be an awesome scientist and create new things and and be awesome investigators and things like that. So you can either make a mask, it's up to you. You can use any materials you want. I have no restrictions on materials. You can either make a cool superhero mask, because you're gonna save the world too, or a superhero cape, whichever one you want. And please, of course, always take pictures of the things that you um, create, because I need to see them, because I love to see them. All right, so that's your crew assignment for today. I have other things up um, in the description for what you guys are supposed to do for the rest of your assignments and the rest of your um, lessons. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun with it. Please, please, please try your best to get everything done. Um, and I'm gonna try and schedule for Friday um, a Google Meets talk so we could all talk live and see each other and, and things like that. I just have, everyone needs to connect to their Gmail accounts, the ones that I set up for you. So ask your mommy about your email so we can connect, okay? Have a great, marvelous Monday. I miss you all. It really, really, really makes me sad that I probably won't see you again in the classroom, but I hope, I hope, I hope we get to see each other soon. And yeah, have a great, great Monday, April 13th, 2020. Remember, get all your work done. I wanna give you blue, I wanna give you a blue dot for today. Bye, my loves, miss you.